Hi, hello, Hannah Chen here from Chen's Authentic Cuisine. Can't believe it's Friday already. Blimey, it's gone quick, isn't it? I got a message from a friend of mine and asking about garlic prawns. Kids, if you're there, this recipe is for you. And I know you like spicy. So today I'm going to show you how to make chili garlic prawns. This is going to be loaded with the big flavors. You'll love it. So before that, I'd like just to um, answer some questions. I received some queries about um, uh, cooking sessions. So here is, I do offer Facebook one-to-one, -one, online or face-to-face -face work along with me sessions, as well as the groups, but maximum six people just restriction with government guidelines so also I do also offer bespoke home delivery service so I'll deliver three course meal to your door sounds interesting if you're interested please get in touch okay so let's get cooking so the ingredients are for chili garlic prawns of course prawns so you can get uh, um, fresh prawns uh, with shell or, or without shell or you can get uh, frozen prawns they all works so what I got here is a frozen prawns what I did is um, coat it with some cornstarch so I'm going to quickly sear them just get those very nice um, um, golden and crispy outside so I just coat it with cornstarch this prawn, um, there and chili two red chilies because um, I grow green chili in the garden so I add a green chili as well just give it a little bit of color eight cloves of garlic sounds a lot but you know why because this dish mainly because you want the garlic flavor but don't worry you're not going to have and that was garlic bread because it's going to be cooked not going to be raw so You'll be fine, yeah. And also, just before I start cooking, I thought, hmm, what happens if I add a little uh, uh, shallot? So I like the 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 tenderness, the the sweetness from shallot. So I thought, I just took a little bit. I decide I'm going to add a shallot in as well. So this is finely chopped shallot here, and one spring onion, which is finely chopped and the garlic already sliced like that so and the four sauce you need to um, or soy sauce or oyster sauce ah so and and uh, I have some uh, coriander and sesame oil it's optional and um, but up to you like we can garnish with that and uh, a teaspoon of uh, black or white pepper but I need some soy sauce please can I have some soy sauce or, or, or oyster sauce um, and uh, it will be nice so so and um, two tablespoons vegetable oil on the wok so heat up in temperature you like and as hot as possible because you want medium heat so what I do is first of all I want to um, fry this sliced garlic and to golden brown so Oil is hot. So the eight cloves garlic, I separate. So half of them are sliced, half of them roughly diced. So I'm going to fry the slice the half first in the hot oil. So quick stir. Keep eye on it. As soon as they get into golden brown, and we want to take them out, and also you all you all infused with this beautiful garlic aroma. Right, a little bit longer. So we want this garlic crispy, golden and crispy. Yeah, nearly there. So if you don't like spicy, you could 
leave out the, uh, the chili bit or um, de-seed the chili. So that's done. And uh, concede it's got intense the, the heat from the chili. So you can just use the um, chili without seed. But if you prefer um, the a little bit bite and skid, now you leave the seed in. So up to you. So here you can see this old lovely golden fried garlic like that. You can see. So we screw them out for from the work and we save them to add into your prongs later. So then you still use the same oil because the oil is beautiful with the infused the garlic, so you don't want wasting that. So same oil. Now you want to put the finely chopped garlic in. And with the finely chopped shallot. Okay. Get everything in. Don't want any wastage. Right. Quick stir. More garlic, and that in as well. Then you want to lightly coated prongs in your wok. So you want heat, turn up the heat and the high heat when you're adding the prongs. So you want high heat, keep the prongs really quick. Basically, you want to sear the prongs. And in my opinion, you mustn't overcook the prawns. So as soon as they turn pink and they're pretty much done, you don't want to cook too long after they're turning pink. So quick stir. Now I'm going to add in the chili and put on high heat. and a teaspoon of black or white pepper like so quick stir okay and I need to, oh, I forgot to mention, you need a, a teaspoon sugar as well, brown or white sugar. So sugar, chili, and, and just bring out the lovely flavor. A quick stir, then I'm adding spring onion. So now you can see the prongs are lovely pink already. You don't want to overcook it, and uh, I'd say less than five minutes if you can keep that. Otherwise, your prawn will be chewy. So that's done. So, off the heat, top up the crispy garlic. There you go. And I would just drizzle some oyster sauce on top. Give a stir. Lovely smell of that. Right. And you serve. Now you want to garnish some coriander on top. It's optional, but I like to drizzle a little bit toasted sesame oil on top. Right. There you have it. Chili garlic prawns. So let's have a taste. 
it's a bite served eat with um, boiled rice. So I have a, um, a boiled rice already. So I'm just going to have a try with uh, some boiled rice. Oh, look at that. Rice bowl. Crispy garlic. It's lovely. Nice. Mm. We really got the chili. I'm um, sort of heat and crispy garlic, garlic on top. It's crunchy, needs with the heat. Oh, it's beautiful. Kids, you'll love it. Anyway, thank you for watching and thank you for joining me, work along with me today. And uh, if you have any question in for this recipe, send me email or message, any form. And uh, I will answer as long as possible. So, and again, Whatever you do, wish you a very happy day. Bye.